Welcome in. I'm Stacy, and today we are pushing back against authority and checking out the licensed Funhole Cyberpunk Police Patrol car. This is set F9043. It contains 372 Lego compatible pieces. And in this box, there are three number bags along with one bag of special pieces and two bags of lights. Once again, Funhole has decided on no stickers for us. And as a result, this set contains some of the most amazing printed pieces I have ever seen. Funhole is the world's first brand of light bricks. And this set contains eight, yep, eight points of light that really help make it stand out from the crowd. This set is part of the new Funhole Cyberpunk series, which I will say to this point, I am very impressed. Thank you to Funhole for sending this set along so we can share with all of you. And this set retails for $54.99 Canadian. You can save 10% at Funhole using code SHECLICKSBRICKS. And make sure to price check Funhole and Funhole on Amazon. Any offers or promotions Funhole sends our way will be in the description of this video. This box has a very cool picture of close-up of the set and you can see the colors of the city in the background. We've got the fun hole delight day and night, the name of the set, the set number, and then down here we have our cyberpunk neon city icon. And nothing else on this box. However, in this box, very cool that I have never seen before. We've got the model name, number, series, age group, number of pieces all here in very cool computerized look. And then also in the box, we have our two bags for our lights. We have our front hole brick separator. We have our USB in case we want to use USB instead of batteries. And we have a screwdriver for the battery box. The set comes with a really nice book, nice vibrant picture on the front. And it also has a QR code that you can scan in case you want to use PDF instructions instead. We've got the size of the set here, so you can take a look at the dimensions. And then on this page here, we also have the inspiration for the set. Some of those are really good read. We've also got a different battery box than I've seen with any set before. Of course, it's going into a very small set. So it does take watch batteries, which are LR44 specifically, three of them. Don't always have those laying around the house, so I thought I would show those. And then here, I thought this was a good place to show the aerial view so you can specifically see how everything is positioned. I love that they include these in their instructions. This one here actually shows the wires as well. And then back, we've got our finished set. And then we have some other sets that Fun Hole offers. We do have one very cute minifig with this police car. He is a police officer, of course, and you can see his uniform definitely fits the cyberpunk theme as well as his face. And here is the back. You can see that the uniform continues through the back as well. Then we have a couple of barriers that are built. Love the see-through pieces. And of course, they are printed. Pretty cool design to build. I'll show you the back of them and that they fold up. And then we've got some extra pieces as well. So you could change out these with these extra pieces if you wanted to. And these extra pieces are for the rims of the car. So you could see the car has a different wheels on the front and back, or you can make them all the same. I just went with the original instructions and kept different for the front and the back. Come in a little closer so we can take a good look at this American style muscle car. You can see the push bars in the front and we've got that nice red and blue and some headlights. We've got a printed piece on the hood for the police symbol and you can tell this car has some power with that blower. We've got a printed door and you think that looks good now? That lights up. Can't wait to show you that. More printed pieces here along the side. On the back we've got a really nice spoiler. You get the push bar again. Dual exhaust so cool you can see the um, caps there for the wheels again we've got the printed door and then these wheels are a little bit different like i said you can change them out if you want to very very nice windshield there as well and we've also got this ice blue here 
and then on the side of the windows as well that goes with that cyberpunk aesthetic. Wanted to show you that this does come off and you can see that the mini fake fits right in there. You see that we've got the wires here for these lights on the top, which leads us into where the battery box is. This piece comes right off in one piece. And then we've got the battery box in here, very easy to get to. And you could see these wires are here. So if you wanted to, you could disconnect the battery box and use the USB. And here is the switch for the lights. Very easily accessible. Look at those lights. Look at the doors. I couldn't believe when I saw those doors. The back of these are just white, but they're actually all wired up to give off that ice blue. I think it looks so cool. Do we think it's time to turn the lights off and see it in the dark? I think so. We've got all our lights on now and they look fabulous. So this comes with two strings of lights and then there's eight points of light in total. So you can see we've got two here with our headlights. They're kind of bright, not trying to blind you. Then we've got these printed doors, which are amazing the way they light up the ice blue. Really, really good for the cyberpunk theme. We've got our two tail lights, but it really kind of lights up the entire back. Then we've got the other printed door. And we've got our flashing lights on top. I love how they flash. Looks really, really good and so easy to do. Just a couple of things to point out. Like I said, this takes LR44 watch batteries and I did have to go hunt for them. I actually had to go two different places for them. They're just not batteries I have laying around the house. The power switch on the battery box is a little hard to get at. I had to get my nail in there in order to turn it on. So it's not big finger friendly. The doors don't open on this set. However, they fabulously made up with the doors not opening by lighting them up the way they did. These lights are so good and so easy. And I am loving these printed pieces that light up. Just incredible. It was a really fun build and very different from any car that I built. Probably just because of the style and the actual lights. I've never built a car with lights before. These brick, the brick quality, of course, is amazing with fun hole. You could build this over and over again. Even with the lights, you could still take it apart and build it over and over again. Fabulous. I know we looked at the dimensions of the vehicle in the book, but I also know that you like a good size comparison. So here's the Mercedes AMG Speed Champion beside it, the Lego version. Pretty close in size, I gotta say. Although, don't see the Lego one with any flashing lights. I am so excited for this cyberpunk series now that I've had the opportunity to build this car. Thank you so much, Fun Hole. And thank you so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, keep clicking those bricks.